Welcome back, all you Way the Hunter fans. How's everybody doing today? I am hunting in Diamond Drill, a hot spot that is incredible for mule deer and whitetail deer. So, so far, I have two five star mule deers in the trophy lodge, a third one that I could not find because I got stuck in a tree. And there's another one out there. So just look at the incredible herds they have here. So whatever is in the water, I need to get me some because these bucks just grow and grow. They have genetics, they have fitness and mature bucks running wild. So the first little pond, when you make your way on the south side of the river, they have mule deer and whitetail drinking right here. So there's some whitetail on the top of the rock and there's some mule deer down here in front of me. So sometimes they're over to my left. So when you come down from the cabin, they will be on the left side of the pond. So they do have some nice whitetail down here. So I have found in my own experience, that the whitetail hunting has been better closer to Valkov's cabin on the northwest side. So down by the campsite, which I'm at now, the mule deer hunting has been excellent. Some quality, mature, five-star bucks with some four stars right behind them. So the question becomes, what do you do with all of these four and five star bucks? Do you harvest them and put them in your trophy lodge? Because if you do, you're going to lower the fitness level, the genetics of that herd. So like the dev said in their videos, if you want to make a hunting heaven, you have to harvest the low quality males. But even though I have two of them the first week playing the game, I'm more than happy to pull that trigger on a third one. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about raising the herd's fitness level to get some superior genetics. Are you going to take all the five stars, run the risk of having some low quality males? So I am back at the cabin now. I just recently purchased the Lupo 6HD, which has a magnification of 3x18, a high quality lens. So this would be not only my first shot from this lens but also my first shot from this firearm so i just recently got the seven millimeter so i should be able to take down some deer and look first shot's gonna be a five star whitetail my first five star whitetail away of the hunter so I've been very happy with the whitetail mule deer hunting with the 7 millimeter. It also works excellent. It's amazing for the mountain goats and bighorn sheep. So it looks like this guy crossed the bridge. It shouldn't be hard tracking them. A nice blood trail. So sometimes it seems like the tracking is easy and sometimes I just totally lose them, man. Just don't know where they go, especially the mountain goats. They just jump. Okay, well here is where my mule deer landed the last one I lost, so the gray wolves must have got him. But this guy is definitely bleeding. Some nice glowing blood trail, so easy to follow. So if you look right down at the blood trail, you'll see a circular drop. And it's like a cone of blood that points to the direction the deer is going. So easy to follow with this guy. So let's have a look at my first five star whitetail let's see what type of genetics and fitness this guy had so very happy to get my first five star whitetail away of the hunter so 90 percent so he was probably just barely able to make a five star trophy rating but i'll take that he'll make a nice addition to the trophy lodge so I'm probably going to look at doing some multiple mounts with two whitetail deers. And I'm sure, well, I hope i get another one real soon. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Do me a big favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on playing Way the Hunter. Stay happy, and I will see you next time.